So there you go. So if you want to be a thoroughly decent human being, step one, you follow Scotty McClue and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Watch all the TikTok videos, like and share. They're all for you. Minus fresh, Scotty. You're some man. I listen to you from our boy. You're an amazing guy, Stephen. That's just amazing because we're coming up 30 years of Scotty McClure in June. 30 years of the world's top talk show. 30 years. Audiences up to quarter of a million a half hour on a local radio station. Woo-wee! Somebody asked me last week, you'll see it on the TikTok videos, they said, um, Scotty, are you coming back on radio? And I said, it would only take one switched on program controller to make the right decision. Bang. You know, it's amazing because people get it wrong. They don't understand just what Scotty McClure is all about. And even that some people that work in radio, they don't understand it. They look, they go, I don't know what this is about. You know what I mean? I phoned a guy when a new station started and it was a national station. And uh, he answered the phone. I said, hello, it's Scotty McClure. And he went, oh, hello. And I said, I wondered, do you fancy meeting up for a coffee? And he went, I don't think so, mate. I don't think so, mate. Anyway, I looked him up and he was just some wee guy in a suit. Do you know what I mean? But very, very strange. Sometimes radio owners do this. They start a new radio station, which they want to be a winner. And they put in just some colourless person that you wouldn't trust to sit the right way around in the lavatory. That's very, very strange. Hello from Dingwall, but I've been so lucky. I mean, I had a wonderful, wonderful boss in Scotland. And he sent me a message last week. I think it's on the TikTok videos. And he said, thank you, Scotty, for turning a half million pound project into a £26 million success story. Scotland's most successful radio station ever. Amazing. 30 years you made us laugh, you're some guy. Oh, we still have a lot of fun and bad trips. It's been very tough, obviously, for two reasons. One, the pandemic. Everybody's been in a bit of a downer. And two, uh, the woke, snowflakey, oh, you can oh, you shouldn't, oh, you mustn't say that. Oh, I don't agree with you. Oh, no. All that. And then they, they're troublemakers, you know what I mean? They're people you can just well do without. But uh, but they do exist in the world and they're walking the streets. Scotty, you're not blowing a trumpet, but you're way better than the guy who plagiarised all your patter. Well, I would hope so. I would hope I'm still the best talk show host in the country, in the world.